Hello, I'm Gavin Harper talking to Roy Kim of the California Fuel Cell Partnership. Roy, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today at Fuel Cells 2008. So we're here giving uh, the conference attendees at Fuel Cell Conference 2008 a direct exposure to fuel cell vehicles. These are light duty passenger vehicles with small compact vehicles to SUVs that are you know, zero emission vehicles running off of hydrogen, storing hydrogen on board and using a fuel cell to produce electricity for the, fuel, uh, for the vehicle. And Roy, can you tell us a little bit about the vehicles that you've got here today? Today we have, uh, from our memberships, from, uh, from the California Fuel Cell Partnership, we have two of our members bringing their fuel cell vehicles here with Daimler, Mercedes parent company, and Mercedes-Benz bringing their uh, F-Cell A-Class, and the uh, General Motors uh, Fuel Cell Equinox made uh, by Chevy. Thank you very much, Roy. Let's go out and take a car for a drive. Hi, I'm talking to Deidre Wiley from GM and we're currently sitting in a Chevrolet Equinox fuel cell and Deidre's going to tell us a little bit about the car. Okay, well hi, I am Deidre Wiley and I'm with General Motors and you are in the Equinox fuel cell. So this is the Chevy Equinox fuel cell and it is not like a regular car. This car runs off of hydrogen, there's no gasoline whatsoever and because it runs off of hydrogen there's no emissions it's petroleum free so that means it's good for the environment so right now I can show you some things about the car that make it stand apart from a regular vehicle so right here what you see this is measuring kilowatts in power and you can see when the car is actually doing a little bit of regen braking and you can see how much power that we're using another thing inside that makes it different from a regular vehicle is on our display right here Okay, so what you're seeing right now, this is like the underbody of the car, and this is a real-time display of what's going on. So those green dots you see right there, that's the hydrogen coming from the tanks. They're coming up to the front right here, which is the actual fuel cell stack under the hood. Mm -hmm. We have the air coming in. It's joining with the hydrogen, and it's making the water vapor, the water, and that's what comes out back there out of the vents and then the orange that's actual electricity okay so right now I am showing you what's underneath the hood so it looks a lot different than your regular internal combustion engine vehicle so what you see right here is um, our power distri distribution module and then underneath that is the fuel cell stack so it's really not much to see and that's what makes the car very interesting just to people who usually want to see underneath the hood they're surprised not to see you know oil dipstick and so much more that you see under a regular car so deidre can you tell us a little bit about the vehicle specs okay so just a little basic information on specs so top speed 100 miles an hour and as far as range when the car is completely filled at 700 bar hydrogen um the car will go about 200 miles right here this is where you do the refueling and you know like i said earlier it does not look like your regular vehicle no, this is where pull that open hydrogen the aid was kindly agreed to let me drive this vehicle so can you tell me a little bit about the vehicle's controls okay so the controls are just like a regular car there's there's steering wheel you can see your speed over there your Hydrogen gauge tells you how much hydrogen you have. The car's cut off, so you can't tell. And then there's a shifter, just like a regular car. Drive, reverse, neutral, park. So nothing complicated at all? Nothing complicated at all. Okay, marvelous. So, so you'll start it up now. Wow, there's no noise. Yeah, there's no noise. And you see, the car's going to tell you when it's ready. And it's ready to go now. Wow, okay, so... So, if I press on the gas now, oh, I see the little electric dots, the orange dots are moving on the display screen. Yep. 
and um, it looks like there's a red light ahead. So if I press wow and you can see the regenerative braking gauge showing that power's going back. If I brake again there to slow down, it goes into the green, that's amazing. So how much does a vehicle like this cost to produce? Oops. How much does a vehicle like this cost to replace? Okay, now it's taping. Um, so right now there's no cost on the vehicle. Uh -huh. Um, we have a hundred of these vehicles that are on the that'll be on the road in Southern California, mm -hmm. New York, and Washington D.C. And it's part of a program that we call Project Driveway. Okay. So we have just consumers, regular people, who are signing up online to be participants in Project Driveway. Uh -huh. And then we also have business partners, and we have public policy partners, and we also have celebrities who are driving the vehicles. Okay. So. Um, one of our business partners is Disney. So uh -huh. Disney has vehicles that they're using on some of their um, studio lots. Uh -huh. And then there's also Virgin Atlantic Airlines. Oh, right. And okay. they have a VIP service where they pick up people from the airport and they take them to their hotels. And so um, they'll be doing that at LAX, for example. Uh -huh. And then also Jay Leno, the talk show host, he has a vehicle oh, right. right now. So, so do they loan the vehicles or are they leased or are they sold to customers? No, well right now we call it a lease but there's no charge for the vehicles. Oh, of what We provide the insurance, we provide the car and we provide the hydrogen and what we do we ask them for their feedback, wow, their candid like feedback. We want to know what do they think about the car, you know, uh -huh. what do you love, what don't you like so much and what we do we use this material and the information that we get back to help us with the vehicle. So it'll help us with engineering, it'll help us with marketing. For Project Driveway, we are using two stations in Burbank, right. and then we're also using um, UC Irvine, their fueling station. Oh, okay. So, so what happens when you go up to a hydrogen fueling station to fill up this vehicle? When you go to a hydrogen fueling station, our customers, they're trained and they know how to do the fueling, so. Uh -huh. is, it, is it hard to refuel the vehicle? Oh no, it's not hard to refuel.